when you are as an individual or saver so when they try to go for depositing they are getting a certificate which is also coming under the short period many small business uh, rely on trade credit uh, as a source of short term financing because uh, the day to day financing is very important for run a business there is no regulatory so there is no safety there is no protection for the those who are investing okay in this short period Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidyasram First Grade College, Mysore, the Temple of Excellence. We are in the Uni 2, Session 3, 5th semester BCom, Financial Institution and Market. The chapter name is Capital Market and Money Market. And the last two sessions, which is completely related to capital marketing. And today, my agenda. So, you are getting more clarity about the money market uh, meaning and the uh, structure of money market, the functions of money market. So, here the money market which is mainly focusing for the short period. Okay, so at the time of raising a money, there are different instruments are connecting. So, as an individual or as a businessman or as a company, they are trying to select any instrument. Okay, before uh, investment, uh, they want to select which are the instrument are available. So, money market, one second which is a short term rising so here the meaning of money market the money market refers to segment because under financial system uh, we majorly classified into capital market and uh, money market capital market which is uh, related to medium term and uh, long term finance when the company want to rise okay so obviously here the money market which is focusing for segment means the total financial system we are dividing into two parts one capital and money market money market again which is a short period so second segment which is nothing but the dividing uh, of the financial market now purely uh, the subject is focusing on the financial market under indian financial system or if you try to take an example for any company any country uh, without proper financial structure so they cannot uh, show the progress in the economy so here the money market where the short term debt security so are brought and sold because uh, something uh, the financial product or instrument we are offering for the those who are uh, saving okay they want to select a proper instrument uh, so which is going for buying and selling process here yeah, brought and sold this security typically have a maturity because just now I told uh, which is a short period means uh, when you are uh, trying to go for investing a money market uh, you are selecting a best instrument which is generating a more revenue and again the maturity time also clearly specified uh, ranging uh, from one day to one year because it, which is mainly focusing for one year short period. So uh, the money market uh, is a crucial component of the broader financial system and play a vital role in the economy because uh, the overall economic development which is completely depending on the financial system again the financial system uh, you got more clarity in the last two session which is capital market and now you are getting a more clarity about the money market moving forward. So under any either capital market or money market, there is a proper structure we are finding here. So the concept is which is related to structuring of money market. So here the majorly when we are discussing organizing sector, under organizing sector, so something regulation or regulatory body, okay, so which is controlling the complete money market. So organize which is going for organize the name only suggesting it. The first one interbanking market. Interbanking market means the bank, for example, the SBI bank, when they want finance support, uh, they can borrow loan from the uh, Canara bank. So, like this uh, interbank market, this is the core of the organized uh, money market where financial institutions such as commercial bank, uh, central bank, and other regulated entity trade with each other because uh, they are asking for a short period loan, either which is starting from one day or maximum day means. Air around 365 days within the days only they are borrowing a finance support because they are maintaining a statutory liquidity ratio when they don't have any finance support they can borrow money from the other interbank and second which one is a treasury bill again treasury note uh, which is completely issued by the government. Government issues short term debts uh, instrument with maturity ranging from few days to one year. So the treasury bill is offered or issued by the government. So rising which is also one kind of instrument in the money market. And uh, third one commercial paper. 
द कमर्शियल पेपर विच इज दीज आर दि शार्ट टर्म अनसेक्यूर्ड प्रामिसरी नोट इश्यूड बै वेल एस्टाब्लिश कॉर्पोरेशन to raise if one their working capital needs so because as a businessman as a company uh, if they want to raise a fund okay which is mainly focusing for working capital the commercial paper is taking a very important role for raising a fund moving forward so again under organizing uh, uh, sector so only is the certificate of deposit when you are as a individual or saver so when they try to go for depositing they getting a certificate which is also coming under the short period so cd or time deposit issue by the bank with fixed maturity ranging from few months to several year so again when they are rising with the help of deposit uh, so the deposit which is coming from the savers okay the savers they are try to go for depositing so obviously they can expect the returns right so till the maturity date they want to hold next one the call money market which is call money market means actually just for short call okay so this segment involves short term loan which is a loan between the bankers to bank okay mainly focusing for raising a fund or borrowing a loan facility from the other substitute bank okay so if they are raising a fund because of day to day withdrawal the institutions want to bear and the lending among the bank financial institution that is call money market short period so they are borrowing a loan next to under commercial bank okay which is also coming under commercial bank majorly going for lending a loan or providing a loan facility to the commercial activity so they lend and borrow fund from each other Uh, in between the commercial bank only they are borrowing a loan facility so participate in the t bill okay t bill actions uh, issuing a commercial paper okay and the certificate of deposit or active in the call money market so here uh, which is a completely based on the different different uh, based on the uh, substitute bank when they are using a, a particular like a commercial papers okay or certificate of deposit or call money or treasury bill so with the help of this particular instrument they are raising a fund moving forward and now unorganized sector which is not organized properly which is not organized here okay so uh, pawn brokers and money lender uh, which is coming under the non organizing the many economic uh, and informal money market exit where the individual and uh, small businessman borrow and lend money so here yeah, there are in the local uh, surrounding only there are too many pawn brokers uh, they are uh, going for lending a money for needy people and even the money lenders also they are charging high rate of interest here okay so which is completely coming under the unorganizing sector and next one uh, trade credit trade credit the uh, world only suggesting uh, which is uh, just for doing a trading where the buying and selling process is going on so they need to raise a fund uh, with the help of trade credit many small business uh, rely on trade credit uh, as a source of short term financing because uh, the day to day financing is very important for run a business very smooth way so that's why they are expecting a trade credit facility they may buy goods and service on credit from the supplier offer credit terms to the customer even not only the business are raising a fund even the customers also getting a credit period okay obviously and next one chit fund which is also coming under the unorganizing fund so the participating contribute money into pool regularly and each month or one members receive the total contribution acting as a source of informal finance so which is the day to day they are try to collect money from the those who are participate okay so for example the chit fund are raising a fund with the help of individual so they are try to collect a day by day or monthly wise they can collect which is also coming under the unorganizing which is also a short period only and moving forward informal saving and credit group informal so we, we are not discussing related to formal structure in various culture informal saving and credit group or uh, frame among the friends uh, family members or community member okay for example when the employees are working together they are try to raise a fund uh, with the help of uh, informal way okay so there is no formal instruction 
permission are not given so then uh, within the friends only within the uh, family members only okay so they are raising a fund uh, okay next one lack of regulation the unorganized sectors of the money market operate outside the purview of regulatory authority so here there is no regulatory so there is no safety there is no protection for the those who are investing okay in this short period so here uh, making an uh, riskier compared to organizing sector organizing sectors because uh, there is something regulatory body we are finding so there is a complete protection for the investor but uh, next uh, diverse uh, practice diverse practice which is going out of okay so the practice in the unorganizing sector can vary widely based on the local customers and the traditions so which is completely going for the out of the formal structure operation so which is a practice or which is not up to the standard here so that's what investors are not expecting a protection they are not getting a protection moving forward next one the functions of money market so very important uh, functions uh, the first one liquidity provision liquidity means actually when any instrument uh, when you are holding easily if you try to convert into cash mode so which is called for liquidity position even the money market uh, we are majorly finding a uh, too many instruments uh, just know in the last slide uh, commercial paper uh, treasury bill uh, okay uh, certificate of deposits so these are the instrument whenever you need finance support, easily you can go for selling okay so otherwise till the maturity date you need to wait meaning the money market instrument offer high liquidity allowing the participant to convert their asset into cash quickly because in case of a long term asset building easily conversion is not happening but when you have a money market instrument easily you can convert into cash quickly you are expecting a cash example treasury bill commercial paper okay so next one short term borrowing and lending so which is mainly focusing for short period okay not only for the businessman not only for the individual so easily they can borrow participant use the money market to borrow and lend fund for short duration so either which is going for contribution for working capital okay the day to day expense often overnight up to one year for example issue of commercial paper this is also one instrument when we are try to go for a short term borrowing and lending and next one risk management so again we majorly focusing for unorganizing and organizing sectors the money market instrument offer relatively low risk because uh, which is only for short period making them suitable for conservative uh, investors to an institute uh, looking for the pursue capital so in this case when we are trying to go for the risk management compared to capital market it is uh, less only example treasury bill and uh, certificate of deposit to provide a low risk okay so because we are getting a uh, safety and guarantee next uh, under primary market to government security under primary market to government security so the government issue short term dates uh, security in the anima market to finance their operation the day to day business uh, when they are running a very smooth way so the government also issuing the few security example the government issue treasury bill note uh, and bond to raise fund uh, with uh, only for short period and next one interbanking lending which is also coming under the functions of uh, money market so a bank use the money market to lend excess reserve to other bank overnight to meet the reserve for requirement for manager liquidity for example when the bank are maintaining a sufficient balance okay so the excess balance means if they keeping inside the bank they cannot generate revenue that's what the, the substitute bank or any other requirement bank so they are try to go for lending money okay example bank a lend fund to bank b which is very simple because inter bank means a canara bank can lend loan to sbi or sbi can lend loan to canara bank so vice versa keep on watch for next section thank you